Good morning, children. Very warm good morning to you. All the respected officers, HMs, teachers, and my dear children. Very warm welcome to all of you, and very warm good morning, children. Due to Corona, online education is going on, and I hope. you all are safe and you all are enjoying your online learning e learning children brihad mumbai mahanagar palika mcgm has organized these sessions for benefit of all the children and in this daily online lectures today is maths time yesterday we did one session of maths and today in continuation of this we will do before i start some instructions for all of you as you know maths is the subject of practice and activities please take out your notebooks keep your notebook and pen ready because during the session you are also doing some practice so children mcgm has organized this for us so any time any child can go to youtube channel can ask for this video can touch to the link and can watch and can learn okay now myself is jyoti kakka from malawni township english school i teach in malawni township english school of p north ward it's in malar and all the students from p north ward have joined here so enjoy today's session children yesterday we did first part of maths scf and lcm that is highest common factor and least common multiple okay so now today the second part yesterday we found out prime numbers from 1 to 100 now today we will practice how to factorize any composite number into the product of prime numbers okay means how to factorize any composite number i will guide you i will instruct you at the end of the session but now also remember after the session today you will solve practice set of 11 from your mathematics book okay children so now let's first discuss what will we cover today first we will cover we will recall rules of divisibility of 2 3 5 and some other prime numbers these rules you already learned in 6th standard and then we will also learn how to factorize given composite number we will also see how to write the number into the products of its prime number in horizontal arrangement and also how to write in vertical arrangement okay children so it means after this session you all will be able to recall the divisibility rules of 2 3 5 and some other prime numbers also you will be able to apply those rules for the factorization of numbers into its prime number and you will factorize the numbers and you will write these in horizontal arrangement 
as well as in vertical arrangement so so many things we are doing during this 45 minutes okay are you all ready ready with your notebook and pen good so all the best for today's session to all of you okay children now first we will recall divisibility rules you know what is the rule of divisibility oh many of you are showing thumbs means you know it let's recall it a number with 0 2 4 6 or 8 at its unique place is divisible by 2 means children if whatever big number is there whichever big number is there we can we have to just look at its unit digit if at the unit place 0 2 4 6 or 8 is there we can decide that this number can be divided by 2 okay let's dis uh, discuss one example suppose a number 1225 can be divided by 2 or not so just think at unit place which is the number 5 can it be can the full number divided by 2 yes or no give your answer in the chat box Hmm. So you all are correct that your answer is no. So just looking at the number, just looking at its unit place, unit digit, we can decide whether two is the factor of this number or not. Is it is very easy? Yes. Let's now think about one more divisibility rule. and that is divisibility by 3 and what does it say it says that we should add all the digits of the given number and if our answer is divided by 2 sorry divided by 3 the full number can be divided by 3 is for example let's take one number 364 just add the number all the digit of the number 3 plus 6 plus 4 what is the answer 13 can we divide 13 by 3 no so the full number 364 also cannot be divided by 3 this we need to remember and apply while factorizing the number let's study one more rule and that is divisibility by 5 you already studied in the 6th standard can you recall Mm. So, divisibility rule of divisibility of five says that if a number with zero or five at its unit place is divisible by five. So, and in the number at unit place, if zero and five is there, the number can be divided by five. Children, one more thing is there. for all the prime numbers to check their divisibility there are different rules so now if you are interested then you can go to google chrome and you can just search divisibility of 7 and you will get the rule of 7 you just search divisibility of 13 divisibility of 47 divisibility of 59 any prime number and you get the rule and you can practice the rule so those who are interested they can do it this is self study okay 
here we will recall these three and we will practice factorization so now children let's discuss something about factorization you know there was a greek mathem greek mathematician whose name was euclid he born in bc 325 and he died in bc 265 during this period he worked a lot on mathematics he was known as the father of geometry in one of his findings he said that any composite number can be written as the product of its prime number what does it mean just look at this example just look at the given example 36 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 chalo let us check 2 to the 4 4 to the 12 12 to the 36 you multiply these numbers anyway 3 3 to the 9 9 to the 18 18 to the 36 2 to the 4 3 to the 9 9 to the 36 so you multiply this number anyway you get the answer 36 and check 2 and 3 both are prime numbers and today we will learn how to do this about any numbers one more example 21 equals to 7 into 3 And seven and three both are prime numbers. So this is called factorization. To write a given number as a product of its prime factors is to factorize a number into prime numbers. So you all understand what is factorization? Who has brought it to us? And you know, children. this factorization of number helps us to find out hcf and lcm of given numbers that is highest common factor and the least common multiple and so this is important to factorize to practice factorize so children let's practice ah um, i'm writing one number and then we will study 6 so 36 means at unit place 6 is there what does it mean it says that this number can be divided by 2 oh it means that 36 can be divided by 2 but what will be the answer if i know tables i can say answer immediately but if i don't know tables what should i do i should bring out my rough paper and then i should divide 36 by 2 that is 2 1s are 2 and 2 8s are 16 oh it means 2 into 16 this is my rough work now i will open my notebook and there i will write i will open my notebook 
and there are in my notebook i will write that to it oh i did it but 18 is not so 18 should be factorized now therefore i will write equals to and then i will write 2 into and now 18 means at the unit place 8 so it can be divided by 2 And two nines are eighteen, so I will write two into nine. Again, children, nine is not a prime number, so again I have to think nine. It comes in table of three. It can be divisible by three, so I will write equals two. Two. In two. To see, this I should write, huh? And now nine means three into three. Oh, I solved my example. See now all the numbers which I got are prime numbers. So this is over. So what is the factorization of thirty-six? Two into two into three into three. Isn't this easy? Yes, it's very easy. Should we practice one more example? Let's practice one more example. Ah, uh, and the number is twenty-five. Hmm, it's easy because at unit place five is there, so it can be divided by five. So it means five into now, children. See those who can do division faster can do here only, or you can have your rough board and you can divide five seventy five divided by five. Hmm. And the answer is five ones are five. Again, five ones are five, and five fives are twenty-five. That is one hundred and fifteen. So, what will I write on this? Five into one hundred and fifty-five, one hundred and fifteen. Oh, this one hundred and fifteen is not prime number. So just underline it. At the unit place, it has five. So it also can be divided by five. Again, go to the And divide it by five. But if you know tables, you can directly write the answer. First, this five, then this five, and twenty-three. Because those who those who know tables can say twenty-three fives are one hundred and fifteen. Okay. Now twenty-three is prime number. so this is my final answer when we solve this questions this way it is called factorization always check all the numbers should be prime number okay and you can also check it cross check 23 into 5 into 5 if you multiply then it will be 575 so children now children now i think you know how to do the work 
and you know children unless we do it by ourselves we can't say whether we can do it or not so let's practice a notebook i give i will give you one number even we together solve it okay okay now i'm giving you one uh, number but before that as i said you it can be written in horizontal arrangement or it can be written in vertical arrangement children the thinking pattern is same only the writing pattern is different writing arrangement is different now see look here what is the number i gave you 363 the first step is always already solved for you now just think 3 plus 6 plus 3 is equal to 12 so this number can be divided by 3 decided so first step is over to decide which number and then take out your rough page divide the number 363 by 3 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 and again 3 ones are 3 and your answer is 121 so you can write this way 363 into 300 is equal to 3 into 121 now 121 is not prime number think it cannot be divided by 2 it cannot be divided by 5 if i add the number 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4 so it cannot be divided by 3 also now there are two ways either you learn all the rules of all the prime numbers which is very some of them are very complicated or you take out your rough book and just think about 7 121 divided by 7 7 1 7 51 it will it cannot be divided by 7 now think about 11 oh it can be divided by 11 if i divide 121 by 11 it is the answer is also 11 so it means 3 into 11 into 11 now 3 is also prime number 11 also prime number so yes my i completed my sum and so the answer is 363 is equal to 3 into 11 into 11 this is horizontal arrangement Let's see how we write in vertical arrangement. In vertical arrangement, we write this way: three hundred sixty-three divided by three, and we whatever answer we get, we write under the number that is one hundred twenty-one. It is divided by eleven, so. It's written eleven, and eleven is also divided by itself one. So in the vertical pattern arrangement, we continue till we get one at last, and the answer is same as in horizontal arrangement. Three hundred and sixty-three equals to three into eleven into eleven. Do you want to practice one more? okay i will solve one more with you and then you will solve by yourself the another example so on your not in your notebook it will look like this you can take screenshot of this when we write in the notebook it looks like this next so this is example 2 one another example okay now see what is the number given 195 oh at the unit place 5 is there so it can be divided by 
So I took out my rough book. I did the division, and I got the answer thirty-nine. Now five is a prime number. Is thirty-nine prime number? No. So three plus nine, twelve. That's why number thirty-nine can be divided by three. Mm -hmm. So children, those who know tables can directly give the answer. and those who don't know tables they need to go to rough book or rough page and do the division children can i suggest you something so this is my suggestion due to corona you all are at home and you have much time to practice yourself so promise yourself and also promise to me and to your teachers that daily you will learn one table and by the time your school reopens you all will surprise your teacher that you know tables till 25 or 30 are you all ready to give surprise gift to your teacher so promise me that you will learn one table daily how many of you are promising me show your thumbs mm hmm thumbs are coming up coming up very good very good and those who are not showing thumbs what are they thinking do you want some seconds to think that is true once you promise you how to do okay so almost all the thumbs are up now so you are promising me and your teachers to give us surprise gift okay let's come to example again 39 means those who know table can directly say 13 threes are 39 So the next step is five into three into thirteen. Five, three, and thirteen all are prime numbers. So my sum is over, and I write final answer. Now let's see how this can be done in vertical, written in vertical pattern. Children, just look at there is a difference. I wrote three first. Because I total one plus nine plus five is fifteen, so it can be divided by three. So I took out my rough book, I did division, and I got answer sixty-five. Anyway, it is correct. If I do by five first, it is correct. If I do by three first, it is correct in multiplication. Okay. And so my answer, final answer is five multiplied by three multiplied by thirteen. Have you got it? So don't confuse. Uh, should I do first three or first five? Anything, whatever you feel easy, you can do. Only the thing you should get correct answer. So in your notebook. This sum will look like this. Children, we practice four sums: two on screen, two here in the PPT. So now I'm giving you one sum to do. Get ready with your notebook and pen. Are you ready? Very nice. Now, children, I'm giving you one sum, and you will do it in. horizontal arrangement now in vertical arrangement you will do it after the session because whether you get the correct answer is not is much important now okay so 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 your next example is 54 and i give you 1 minute
start doing in your notebook think as i thought unit place for so just to think whether it can be divided by 2 or not then divide do the division then write the answer 54 is equal to 2 into whatever answer you get Okay, do it. And as you complete the answer, write your answer in the chat box. Hmm. Two, three students started posting the answers. Good. I'm waiting for more. Yes, yes. Oh, now you are doing very well. Fast. Many students started giving the answers. Very good. Almost all the students have posted their answers. So now, self study and self checking is important. I always say this. Correct. So now, now I am showing you the answer. and you check yourself whether your answer is correct or not and i i'm showing in both the arrangements but you just check in horizontal arrangement and after the session you do in vertical arrangement also check your answer how many of you were correct show your thumbs Hmm. Correct. Very good. It was small number and easy number. Even I'm giving you one more sum to practice, and that is also very small number. Huh? Are you ready for the next one to solve? Get it. Get it and start doing it. This is also easy, huh? At the unit place, eight is there. So easy. It can be divided by two. Hmm. Two students have posted their answer. Very good. those who know tables can do it faster so if you want to do it faster learn table one table every day many students have started posting the answers good children you all are doing good excellent fabulous hmm clever children so almost all have posted the answer and so now again time of self checking check yourself check yourself check you can take screenshot also now children it is the time of homework listen to me properly i am giving you 10 sums to do as homework but that is not enough now we are meeting next monday so we have almost a week now what will you do your teacher will give you 10 sums every day and you will practice 10 numbers factorizing every day factorization of 10 numbers every day so 
when on the next monday we will learn hcf you all will do the factorization faster so are you all ready for homework take out the screenshot of this practice these numbers factorization of these numbers practice both the arrangements horizontal as well as vertical and post your answers in your whatsapp group your teachers will check it and ask your teacher to give more than example daily so today is tuesday then wednesday thursday friday saturday and even on sunday more 50 examples you can solve and you know children practice maths main perfect maths is the subject of practice so practice it well and get ready for the next session one more thing i i'll tell you. on friday and saturday we will post the link of diksha app regarding hcf in your whatsapp group you will watch that video and get ready to learn it so here today's session is over if you have any doubts you can raise your hands and we will unmute you you say whatever you want to say and your doubt will be solved it will be clear do you have any doubt raise your hand otherwise do the homework and you will be master in factorizing the number during the week stay safe wash your hands whenever you go out take bath after coming wash those clothes and if it is very necessary then only you go out stay home stay safe i think no one is raising any hand okay so today's session did you all enjoy it enjoy it okay then do one thing clap for yourself without unmuting yourself clap and here today's session is over enjoy your online learning at your home and get ready for the next session thank you thank you very much children